All right, guys, let's do problem number 1733 from the Master and Engineer website. In this problem, we have a race car about to start a race, in which we can also start the race that we, the rear wheels are going to start slipping. So they ask us to determine A, the acceleration, B and C, the reaction forces at the wheels, which is the normal force. All right. First, let's put what we're given. We're given... mass of the car, which is 1550 pounds, and we're giving also the coefficient of friction with the rubber on the floor, which is 0.8. Now, given that, we got to find all this. So to do this, we're going to do, first of all, the wire, and the, the free body diagram. Here's the reaction at B. The reaction at A, the acceleration of the car, the weight of the car, and of course, the force of friction which propels the wheels, or doesn't propel in this case because he's spinning in place for our problem, but still, we gotta put it there. Let's see. So, First, we're going to do the sum of the forces in the x direction, this way being positive, so positives to the left. And the sum of the forces, the only force we actually got going here is a force of friction, and it adds up to be the acceleration of the car. Now we're going to do the sum of the forces in the y direction up being positive, which of course is going to add up to be zero, and that is going to be normal force A plus normal force B minus W, and now we're going to do the sum of the moments at A, counterclockwise being positive. Which <clears throat> A is right here. So we're going to have W times 6. That will be negative because it's going clockwise. Plus the normal force at B times 10.75. 6 plus 4.75 equals 10.75. All right, the friction force is going straight at it, so it doesn't count. So we got the weight, we got the normal, equals the mass times the acceleration of the car, times 0 0.75. There's a point there. You see right here? From here to here, there's 0.75. And with these three equations, we can actually figure out everything that we need. All right, now let's plug in some numbers. First of all, remember that since we got pounds, we got to convert to slugs. So 1550 divided by 32.2 give me 48. Anytime you see pounds, you gotta think of slugs because I always forget and I usually lose a lot of points doing that, even though the rest of my calculations are correct. Now, also, you gotta remember that friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal force at B because we're here at the wheels. All right, so with these four equations, we're gonna figure out all this. All right. First of all, look at the first equation. The friction equals the mass times the acceleration of the car. And the friction also equals coefficient of static friction times the normal force at B 
equals the mass times the acceleration of the car. Let's play some numbers we get. 0.8, that's the normal. The mass is 48.14, that's the acceleration, which the acceleration is the one we're trying to find on part A. Now, from equation two, we know that the normal forces add up to the weight, which is 1550 pounds. This is another equation. All right. Now, on the third equation, when we plug in the numbers, we get negative six, hold on a second, times W, which is 1550 pounds, 1550 pounds. <clears throat> Let's see, plus 10.75, times the normal of B equals, we're working with this equation, in case you are a little lost, 48.14 times 0.75 times the acceleration. these three equations now. Now it becomes super easy. This equation you solve for mv and then you plug it into this one. I'm going to leave you to the algebra and you're going to get that the acceleration is 15.2 feet per second squared. Then you're going to plug this in into this one again, and you're going to get that the normal of B equals 916 pounds. Then you plug this one in to this one, and you get that the normal at A is going to equal 600 and 33.7 pounds. This is again with my numbers. I think that um, not everybody has the same numbers. The coefficient of static friction actually changes in this problem if I remember correctly. So, you know, you got a little problem with my numbers, make sure you got it right and then do it with your numbers. And the answer should be similar, but slightly different. And if you got the same number as me, I agree for you, but you know, you should always practice. And that's how you do this problem. And you get these three answers. Thank you and good luck.